Okay guys, going forward, now that we've discussed this, this is one of the beginning ones that are very challenging. Most students struggle with this. If you've got any questions, I repeat, let me know, contact me, and then I will take it from there. Triangle of forces, this is on page 28. This is also very critical. Um, triangle of forces applies when is a concept that's applied when you've got three forces that are acting at the same point. What you need to do, the fundamentals of the, the triangle of forces, Okay, triangle of forces is the next topic. What we're going to look at is now the fact that when you've got three forces acting on the same plane, the same object at the same time, what do you do in that case? What you do is very simple. You apply your triangle of forces rules. And in this case is if you've got forces, this is the object and you've got a force acting that way and you've got a force acting that way and so you've got a force acting that way the very first thing you do say this is a b and c make sure that a b and c are all pulling away away and away in an instant where you've got a force that is pushing inwards what do you do what happens when your force is inwards very easy you just take the very same magnitude of C and you project it downwards at the same angle and make sure that it now looks away. And with that being said, you can use a different highlighter. There is my green that is now the protrusion of the force and then you ignore this force as you go. You treat this as your C and then you pop your ankle. Then you work it out from here. As long as they are way away, this can come here as a force and then you know that you're Gucci. Then you start working it out. Straightforward, easy, but it doesn't carry a lot of marks on the final exam. What I would advise is that know it and know Bow's notation as well. Get to know the definitions of what a lifting machine is. Get to know what mechanical advantage is, what velocity ratio is with the definitions and the equations. You'll always get those on your formula sheet during the test. And you also need to know what a lever is all about. A lever is always about the seesaw mechanism. And in this case, um, we look at it as a crowbar example being given that for you to get more leverage, you need to have more length. And that's how basically a crowbar works. Um, crowbar in the construction industry, you guys would understand what it is. If not, please Google what a crowbar is. Now, a pulley block system this is another module which is theoretical but it's critical you need to know page 32 is critical you need to know that drawings of a five pulley system they ask it all the time in the exam and you need to understand what vr is velocity ratio you need to understand the definition and you need to know how to apply it you also need to understand what a wheel axle is about and what is going on there my favorite one being moments what is a moment what happens when we speak about moments, what is the situation there? Uh, page 36 explains everything. Uh, a moment is a force uh, or a perpendicular force. A perpendicular, yeah, it's a perpendicular force on a point. Um, it's a force that brings a turning effect about a point. There's two types that we look at here. We look at moments and we look at levers. In this case, the levers are explained very well on page 37 and 38. And the law of moment states that a system of force is in equilibrium when the sum of clockwise is exactly the same as the anticlockwise of the very same point. Um, I love beams. Beams are always carrying and nothing less than 10 marks in the exam. So please make sure you master them. Page 40, you need to know about the point loads and what is happening about clockwise and anticlockwise. Maybe we can look at an example on the equilibrium of beams and then we can take it from there let me do my magic and clear up the board Bing! 